Hello and welcome to another episode on the Life of Signatures Radio. Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon from whatever continent it is you're tuned on to the Life of Signatures Radio. I'm glad you're doing the same. If this is the first time that you're tuning in, just know that this is a podcast, which is a teaching podcast on the subjects of purpose, productivity, and resilience. Those three are critical to anybody's life. You've got to have some kind of direction, which is your purpose in life. Then you've got to have some productivity going on attached to that direction of your life. And of course, we're living in a dark, fallen, black world. And that means that we will need to be a resilient force. Every single time we either mess up or the world messes us up, we got to rise up back again. And that's why this podcast is always talking about those three things. And now we are in the middle of a series. We're talking about a reputation. Actually, we are starting to conclude this we've been talking about the seven ways to recover your ruined reputation let's look at past part six we've been doing part one part two part three part four and five and let us deal with part six today in this episode stay tuned Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. I really don't know why the name R. Kelly has dropped into my spirit right now. But you know about that man and uh, his uh, reputation, how his reputation has, I mean, it like went to the dogs. But let me say this. Let me just say this. You see, it might not mean when a reputation is spoiled that that is the end of the road for people. Because we know right now that R. Kelly is locked up in prison. Maybe, I think, indefinitely or maybe forever. I don't know. And we know that by the time he was being locked up, he was 50 plus years, I think. 50 plus years of age, locked up in prison for misdemeanors. His reputation went to the dogs. This guy is a guy who has given us inspirational songs and Things like songs like "A Believer Can Fly," "The Storm Is Over," uh, "Gotham City," and 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 all that stuff. I mean, there's a guy who sang a song, "He Saved Me," you know, some years back. A mighty song about his testimony, you know. But then he's been held up with his misdemeanors, and his life just took a tumble. So I saw on Facebook, I saw pictures going around. Of this man continuing to perform even while in prison continue to you know not let his gift being buried i I don't know who is coaching him i don't know who is training him but i can tell you one thing even though we have a day left in our lives even though we have a month left a year left i think there's something positive we can still do if our reputation has been messed up and so we've been talking about how you can bring that reputation back up And one of the ways, uh, let me just do a recap for you, is to acknowledge, number one, acknowledge the mess. Number two, go back to ground zero. Number three, build it right back up again. Number four, use your past. Use your past as a crutch. I mean, be sure that you can say, I'm the guy who messed up. And I remember how you can even tell stories of how you messed up, especially after you built it up or you're building it up, so that you can contrast the kind of person that you are, you were, 
with the kind of person that you are and are actually becoming so that your believable uh, turnaround can shine. And then, of course, we've said that uh, yeah, you've got to go the extra mile. If you're rebuilding your reputation, you've got to go the extra mile. Don't just do what you used to do, what you used to be known for. Uh, think of one way that you can be able to build yourself up, that you're going to an extra mile so that you're known for who you are, but also for who you are and who you're becoming and whom you dedicated your life to. That's number five. Number six, if you're rebuilding your reputation, if, you are re- if you're recovering a lost reputation, number six, what you've got to do is to put measures in place to protect you in the future. This is, this is big. This is, a, uh, this is big. This is big. This is a scripture. In the Bible it says, Let him who thinks he stands, let him watch lest he falls. The Bible is warning us. Those of us who are normally cocky and prideful, I don't want to go into footballing teams. If you look at uh, <laughs> the Premier League, how uh, certain fans, a certain fan base is so quiet these days. Because they used to be bad mouthing. I mean, they used to be telling people, "We are the ones who have won a treble." I mean, I mean, let him who thinks he stands, let him watch, lest he falls. This is what it is about your reputation, especially now that you've known how easy it is to slip and to fall, banana skin. You know what I'm saying? Now that you've known what it is that you can easily slip, you've got to put measures into place to watch, to secure, to safeguard, to put you in the straight and in the narrow. Otherwise, my friend, I'm telling you, we're living in a world where it is so easy, you know, for you to, to, you know, take a tumble. It goes without saying that you've got to put measures into place to protect you in the future. Because once beaten, twice shy. There is a possibility that you can, if you had a sports reputation because there was no relationship management in you. There was no, there was no, there was no measures. There were no boundaries. That's the word. There were no boundaries that you put into place. So it is only wise to put these boundaries, these measures in place that will help you to detect you know, in the military, countries spend billions of dollars, I think, not on weaponry, just on weaponry, but they also spend on intelligence. They spend a lot of dollars on intelligence. In that, you'd rather, and let me tell you this, you guys, you have no idea how many how many have been protected from a terror attack that you're never going to be told? You're never going to be told that they foiled a terror attack. You will never know how many attempts had been, have been made on the life of your president and they have been foiled because of intelligence. Yeah? So you will never know. It's important for us to have to detect what's coming up, what is a potential banana skin in our lives, that can ruin our reputations once again. So it is only wise to put measures in place that will help you to detect and to deal with any issues that might arise, that will be, uh, w- w- that will be your downfall, will cause you to lose your reputation once again. So reputation management is something that we, we talked about and one of the most important things that we should have. I, I talked about this in a previous episode. But while doing this, I want to talk about one thing. While doing this, one needs to realize that a reputation is at the rudimentary level all through relationships. It is a relationship game. And it is either directly or it is indirectly. And so I'm going to talk about some five things. Today we're just going to talk about one. Some five things that we should watch when we are putting measures in place to protect us from the in uh, to, pro, to protect to protect us in the future. 
the first thing i'm going to talk about and i'm going to get out of your face is to be authentic i've already talked about this before remember we're talking about putting measures in place so be authentic you start by defining what you will be known for and you stick to it of course your definition will not automatically be the same reputation that you've had you've had this is what i mean you 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 will define what you stand for and stake your life on it but you will be known for what you you will be known exactly for what you define you know it's interesting right now you might say you might say this is what you're going to be known for but in the interim that's not exactly what people will define you with what you will be known for will not be exactly what you have defined your reputation for why 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 am i saying that it is because reputation is not something that you can have full control over it has its own legs it grows its own wings a large portion of your reputation is a result of perception I talked about this long ago when I started talking about this this uh, uh, series. It is a result of perception. However, you can influence perception and this is where the authenticity comes in. A large portion of your reputation is a, is a perception game. You cannot control every kind of perception externally and even eternally. Neither should you even start worrying about it. That is why you ought to set the standards. You set your values. You set your promises. You set your principles. You set your excellence. And you set your authenticity. Those are the things within your realm of control. Perception is going to take care of itself. But if you stay with these things, because perception varies. Perception varies. Someone can come and gossip about you to me. My perception about you varies from the time I had that gossip. But if I experience you, what am I going to experience? I should experience what you have decided. You have decided about your standards. You have decided about your values. You have decided about your promises. You have made a resolution about your excellence. You have made a resolution about your authenticity. That is what I will experience firsthand. And therefore, it obliterates the perception that I had previously. I've had very many people who have, you know, without checking, taken a particular stand and a particular point of view against someone else. And then once they experience this person, it becomes so embarrassing because you didn't, you didn't check. But you see, let's not talk about that. We're talking about you rebuilding your reputation. If you're rebuilding your reputation, then you've got to put measures into place. And these measures are about your authenticity. Decide how you'll be defined. Decide what you will do. Decide how excellent you will be. Decide what your values will be. Decide how your consistency is going to be like. Decide what matters to you. And once you've done that, the perception and the reputation will take care of you itself this is the first measure that you put into place in fact by the way when you're rebuilding your reputation you don't even worry about eyeballs don't even worry about public relations okay i know you've got to worry about that but i'm not saying you put it as a priority priority is these things these are the roots people don't see these things but this is what you decide within yourself i'm gonna be this this and that i'm not gonna be this that and that and therefore this becomes the measures that are going to protect you and your reputation. Tomorrow we continue. Until then, bye bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.